What's going on guys? My name is Wade with Tech Daily. So I feel like ZTE is kind of like an ex you had who brings back a lot of good memories, but the bitter end of the relationship is all that stands out. ZTE was and still is a solid phone manufacturer, but here in the US, due to some scrutiny from the government, they sort of have been painted in a bad light. And that's all that people really seem to remember right now. It's certainly true that ZTE and a couple other Chinese manufacturers don't have the best reputation here in the States. But around the world, ZTE is still a player in the smartphone space. Now, the company is hoping to change that negative US perception with the release of their new Axon 10 Pro. It's sort of the revival of that famous Axon name that was associated with a lot of great phones over the years. And it's their first flagship launch here in the US in some time. Now, the rest of the world has had the Axon 10 Pro since early summer and all of the reviews say that this is a really solid device, and I'm excited to finally check this phone out for myself. Of course, in such a crowded US market space, it's hard to stand out, but ZTE hopes to offer a device that people can get behind for one reason in particular, the price. The Axon 10 Pro will start at 550 bucks, but you're still getting $1,000 flagship specs and then some. If you want to learn more about the Axon 10 Pro, I'll leave some links down below in the video description. It officially goes on sale here in the US tomorrow, September 6th, so don't miss out if you're really interested in picking one up. The unboxing experience with this phone is about as premium as you'd expect. That super shiny, very blue Axon 10 Pro is sitting front and center, and we'll take a closer look at it in just a second, but I do want to go over what else comes inside the box. The first thing you get actually is a clear rubber case to protect your new phone. With such a shiny fingerprint magnet of a device, it's great that ZTE threw in a little protection, and the case looks really good on the phone. Also inside the box is a USB wall plug. Now this phone supports Qualcomm Quick Charge 4, so you're getting really fast charging speeds, and it of course is a USB-C connection, even though the opposite ends of the charger and plug are USB-A for whatever reason. Unfortunately, the Axon 10 Pro is yet another device without a headphone jack, but you'll get a dongle and a pair of wired earbuds to go with the phone anyway. So this is the Axon 10 Pro, and I've actually had about a week to play around with this phone already and I wanna talk about a few of the things that stood out to me the most. First off, like I mentioned already, you're getting flagship specs at a less than flagship price point. There's a Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 processor paired with an Adreno 640 GPU inside, either eight gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of storage, or 12 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of storage, and a massive 4,000 milliamp battery. And if you need more space for your apps or pictures or whatever else, you can throw in an SD card for up to two terabytes of storage, or use that extra slot for a second SIM card to travel internationally. It's no secret that as we approach the end of the year, we'll start to hear murmurs of the next-gen processors coming to some flagship phones from the big players, but the Axon 10 Pro packs everything you'd expect and then some for a 2019 flagship, whether you buy this phone now or if you bought it in May. You're getting a fast, smooth, and snappy experience on a device that costs half as much as anything else with comparable internals. ZTE promises to have an Android 10 update soon for this device, and I'm certainly going to hold them to that. If they can stay up to date on the software, which even right now is really good, they'll certainly be able to recapture some dedicated fans here in the States in the months to come. The design of this phone is also really great. It isn't unique by any means, but it just looks and feels premium. The all glass build with that mirrored back give off the vibe that this is an expensive phone and that extends to the display as well. With the Axon 10 Pro, you're getting a full HD Plus AMOLED screen with a 2340 by 1080 resolution. The 6.47 inch phone packs an impressive 398 pixels per inch, and although you aren't getting that seamless, bezel-less look like some other phones, the small forehead with that teardrop notch and minor chin at the bottom are paired with front glass that does curve ever so slightly towards the edges. With about an 88% screen-to-body ratio, this is something I can certainly live with, and you're going to get a great view from any angle. Colors are crisp, 
blacks are deep, and there isn't any sort of distortion or fading. It's a bold, bright screen, and sure, it may not push the limits on resolution, but even the Note 10 has a 1080p screen after all. And oh yeah, for a little icing on the cake, there's an in-display fingerprint sensor too. Now, like you, I was skeptical, you could say, about whether this would be good, but I have no complaints. When you get used to where it is under the display, the fingerprint reader gets the job done. It's about as quick as any other, from what I can tell, and very rarely did I fiddle around with it trying to unlock the phone. If you aren't about using your finger though, there is of course face unlock too, and that works just as well as you'd expect. Finally, let's talk cameras, because I think this is going to be one of the major selling points of this device. The Axon 10 Pro packs an impressive array of hardware, both on the front and back. Up front, in that teardrop notch, you've got a 20 megapixel selfie shooter with HDR and portrait mode, and in the couple of selfies I took, I was pretty impressed with what came out. Around back, there's a triple lens setup, a 48 megapixel f1.7 aperture main lens with phase detection autofocus, an 8 megapixel telephoto lens with all those same capabilities in addition to 3 times optical zoom, and a 20 megapixel ultra wide lens just for good measure. Now I actually spent a good deal of time testing out this camera and putting it up against the Pixel, the iPhone, and the Note 10, and I have to say that the Axon 10 Pro can certainly compete. I'll have a multi-phone camera comparison video out soon so you can get some side-by-side -side examples and decide for yourself, but overall I was really impressed with what the Axon of detail in every picture, and particularly in low light, I think this photo produces an excellent image. The telephoto lens is also particularly good, and you can also get a ridiculous digital zoom too, just for fun. Where this phone falls a little flat is probably with that shallow depth of field portrait mode shot. With objects, it's not bad, but with people, it's a little rough around the edges, and I think the background blur is almost too much at times. There's some potential though, and with the right tweaks, I think ZTE can definitely make it right. A couple other things to note, you've got wireless charging, you've got dual stereo speakers paired with Dolby Atmos, and within the software there are some AI helpers that will optimize battery, improve performance over time, and assist with taking pictures. Now here's the bottom line. I'm really rooting for ZTE. I think competition is good overall, and here in the US there's not a whole lot in the smartphone space. This is a phone that can absolutely compete in the market and I have no doubts that the Axon 10 Pro is well worth its $550 starting price tag. What ZTE needs to do now is continue pushing this device to folks who want unlocked phones, try and get friendly with the carriers here again in the US, and most importantly, just keep up with the updates. If they can continue to keep this phone healthy with support for a couple of years and also push out Android 10 as soon as possible, they'll absolutely garner up the support and fanfare they've been missing these last couple of years. I hope people don't miss out on this phone because it is a really solid device. 
and I'm personally super interested to see how it does here in the US in the coming months. So there you go, that's pretty much everything you need to know about the new ZTE Axon 10 Pro. Like I said, the phone officially goes on sale September 6th, and I'll leave all the links and information you need to know down below in the video description if you do want to learn more about it. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about the Axon 10 Pro. I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments, of course. Also, be sure to follow Tech Daily on Twitter and subscribe to the Tech Daily YouTube channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys later.